Hey traders, welcome back to another trade recap video. So it's been almost a month since I last uploaded any YouTube video because I've been busy on December to sort of manage some of the end of year thing. And yeah, just happy to be back on YouTube. And I actually started trading today, which is the 3rd of January 2024. It's my first trading day and it turns out to be pretty solid. I only traded one of my small account and shorted gold was able to squeeze about about seven point one thousand dollars on this one and all of you can see just to block it a little bit is an IC market raw trading is a live account on MT5 this is actually a new account that I just opened this year uh, so yeah let's go into the chart and see what really happened so I've been trying to find some opportunities to trade on gold, but unfortunately I couldn't find any of them. And in fact, I've been stopped trading gold since two to three months ago because I just couldn't find any decent opportunity. Price was moving, the volume was there, but it was just a little bit too crazy for me, especially the first of December spike. It's just lots of uncertainty, lots of indecisiveness in the market. So because of that, I completely avoided gold and I was able to finally see some short term opportunities shorted. The main confirmation that I get was first thing first. If you look at the daily, I want all of you to remember this area, these um, 2063, 2065 area. Please remember this key level on the daily because this is the main, uh, the main confirmation why I shorted gold. So you see, price have that massive spike on 4th of December in fact within the four hour candle we spiked for about 763 pips and the entire daily range was about 1280 points so that candle actually brought in a lot of excitement into the market and i believe a lot of retail traders actually get really hyped up uh, really jumped into the market as well because of that massive candle but just to see price unfortunately come all the way back down closing back under that 2080 that 2087 low that 2087 high sorry price dropped and it go all the way back again try to challenge the high and coincidentally it just tapped that that uh, that tail close that weak rejection close at 2088 and it just dropped all the way down so after seeing price rejected this area again, I dropped down to the one hour and the 30 minute chart to see was there any sort of um, short term failure pattern and there, if, turns out there was a few of them. The first one was this one, that's what we call a busted bull flag within our community. It's one of the pattern that we trade, we are good at recognizing it. Price dropped, telling us that it was the first sign of um, failure, first sign of weakness on gold and the way that it matches the prior high was awesome as well. Then it started dropping, formed a lower high, lower high. So these, these push up, these wave up here was extremely important in terms of the entire trade thesis. Because if this thing continue to push higher, there will be zero short opportunity presenting. But because price try to, if it drop down to the 30 minute, price really tried to break above these prior swing high and in fact we tried to hold above it see this see this solid support at 2073 tried to hold above it and we still ultimately failed all the way down so the way that price dropped all the way down again massive confirmation that sellers are in control not necessary from a long-term perspective but at least short term why sellers are in control then I want all of you to pay attention to 2070 high or 2070.5 price again dropped went back to retest this area then we continue dropping all the way down so today when I start seeing price pull back the first thing that came into my mind was I want to continue shorting gold because first thing we have multiple failures on the high can't hold above the 2073 cannot revisit that 2087 we even failed at that 2070. So failure, failure, all these were signs of weakness. Then when price pulls back, 
the only question that I really asked myself was, I even shared this within our community as head. Right now, a good area will be that 2064. All right, so and price really did come back to 2064. And if we drop down to the 50 minute, you can actually see we have a just a decent uh, pullback rejection um, pattern that we just drop all the way down. So arguably speaking, my exit was a little bit conservative, I understand. And mainly because it's the first trade of 2024. So I didn't wanna sort of do anything to, uh, to mess up the trade. So I'm house happy to close it for 5 hours. It was a static TP, which means uh, I was not an open target position. I just closed it um, based on my TP level at 2052.40. So secured about 5.1 R, that's about $7,000 plus on my smaller account. Unfortunately, I didn't take it on my bigger account, but still it was a good position. So <coughs> yeah, that's pretty much it for the trade recap. And before I close the video, I would just like to um, sort of wish all of you, especially if you have been supporting the channel, if you, have, if you are one of my trade club members, Who's been who's watching this video? I just want to tell all of you how much I appreciate all of you, and thanks for always supporting the channel. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope that my channel will be able to further provide more value, more realistic expectation, more real education, more mindset lessons to all of you whoever's watching this video. And I hope you find motivation from my YouTube channel. All right. So that's it for the video. If you like the video, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.